Hello students, myself Professor Ankur. I welcome everyone for the gate theory session on the topic of analog circuits, differential amplifier. We are going to continue with our topic of differential amplifier using MOSFET and constant current sources, current mirror. This is our fourth session on differential amplifier. So now we are going to see the differential amplifier using MOSFET. If you can observe the left hand side circuitry, you can see two MOSFETs Q1 and Q2 with the terminal input points V1 and V2, where both are actually the gate points. So V1 will be applied to the gate of the first MOSFET and V2 will be applied to the gate of the second MOSFET. Both the sources are shorted together and connected to a single resistance by the name RS. And then we are having a lower negative potential by the name minus of VSS. At the top point, you can see there are two resistances. One resistance RD for the MOSFET Q1 and the other resistance RD for the MOSFET Q2. And both the top ends will be connected to VDD. So if you observe that diagram carefully, this is again similar to the BJT configuration. It is just that the device got replaced by the MOSFET and then this is coming from the family of balanced input, balanced output configuration. On similar lines, we can easily develop the differential amplifier using MOSFET under other configurations. So suppose if I eliminate the output point VO2 and we are having only VO1, so it will become balanced input and unbalanced output configuration. If I ground V2 and I retain VO1 and VO2 and V1, it will become unbalanced input, balanced output configuration. And if I eliminate VO2 and V2 and we are keeping V1 and VO1, automatically it will become unbalanced input, unbalanced output configuration. Now the gain relations, we are getting similar logic what we have got during the BJT. I will go for one by one. So if I go for the balanced input, balanced output configuration, the differential gain will come as GMRD. The common mode gain will come as minus of RD by twice of RS. The CMRR will come as twice of GMRS. The input resistance will be infinity and the output resistance will be RD. When I go for balanced input, unbalanced output configuration, the AD will come as GMRD by 2. The AC will come as minus of RD by 2 RS. CMRR will be GMRS. RI will be infinity, RO will be RD. When I go for unbalanced input, balanced output configuration, AD will be GMRD, AC will be minus of RD by twice of RS, CMRR is twice of GMRS, RI will be infinity, RO will be RD. Unbalanced input, unbalanced output configuration, AD will be GMRD by 2. AC will be minus of RD by twice of RS. CMRR will come as GMRS. Input resistance will be infinity and output resistance will be RD. Now, if you observe the table carefully, as we have a similar logic in BJT, we can easily comment that whenever we go for unbalanced configuration, the differential gain goes to half the original value of balanced configuration. The common mode gain in all the four cases will remain the same. And in CMRR also, whenever we go for unbalanced output configuration, the CMRR value reduces to half the value that we got in the balanced output configuration. Since we are using MOSFET circuitries here, the input resistance has gone to infinity and the output resistance will be as good as the RD value. Now, when we try to use the constant current sources logic in the differential amplifier, then the lower section will have a representation of a current source and the battery minus V. And when you go for the unbalanced logic, you can see the last circuitry that is on the right hand side, where you can see the input as one of the MOSFET Q1 is being given the input, but output is taken from both the logic and the second input for the MOSFET circuitry Q2 that is actually grounded. So this is just a representation with the constant current source. So overall, what do we understood from this? 
that whenever we go for differential amplifier using mosfets the arrangement is similar to the bjt differential amplifier circuitries it is just that we are replacing the devices by the mosfet family and the terminologies and the resistances will change the logic of constant current sources can be also applied to the differential amplifiers using mosfet where the lower section of the circuitry can be having a current mirror circuitry or a constant current source circuitry now let's take a sum now this sum is basically based on the mosfet current mirror circuitry where you can see two mosfets q1 and q2 and a vdd battery connected to r the drain of the first mosfet is connected to the gate and both the gates are now equipotential both the source are also at equipotential and now we will take the question the question says if vdd is equal to 3 volt both the mosfets q1 and q2 are identical l is 1 micrometer w is 10 micrometer the threshold voltage vt is 0.7 volt kn dash which is actually mu c ox will have the value 200 microampere per volt square and the output resistance ro divided uh, dif, uh, rep represented as 200 kilo ohms the ro value is 200 kilo ohms question is determine r for io equal to 100 microampere second what is the lowest value for output vo third how much io changes when vo changes by 1 volt now as per the data since both the mosfets are actually identical i can easily say that they are match mosfets and under match mosfets configuration all the device parameters are going to be same and since both the vgs are also same i can easily say that i0 is going to be equal to irf for the given circuitry your i0 value is basically the id2 value and irf value is basically your id1 value so we can say that id1 which is equal to irf is actually equal to io so the value of id1 is going to be half kn dash w by l1 vgs minus vt the whole square where id1 can be taken equal to irf which will be equal to io as 100 micro on substituting the remaining values you will get on solving the value of vgs minus vt this value will come as 0.316 volt so on substituting vt as 0.7 you will get the value of vgs as 1.016 volt the value of r can be defined as vdd minus vgs by id or irf so automatically the r value comes as 19.84 kilo ohm now when i try to calculate the minimum value or the lowest possible value of vo here the value of vo is basically equal to vds so now we can take the value of vo minimum as vgs minus vt so vgs minus vt will come as 0.316 volt so that will be the minimum value of vo last point how much io changes when vo changes by 1 volt so now i can define ro as del vo by del io so just interchanging the positions i can say del io will be equal to del vo by ro2 so del vo is given as 1 volt and ro2 value is 200 kilo ohm putting that we will get the value as 5 microampere so whenever the voltage changes by 1 volt the current will change by 5 microampere so this is the solution